So what is the number one way to start a speech? Hi, this is Vishal Sarkar. In today's video, you're about to understand how to make a powerful first impression. Because if you're a leader, you have to know every single time because your brand, your personal brand is important. Your micro niche within your profession is important for you. And that's why you have to, every single time you open your mouth, you have to make sure that you have a good way to start a speech because of three reasons if you think about it there are three reasons why it's important the the first one is impression if you don't start your speech in a good manner you don't have a good impression right uh, that's the first one second is what i call distinction distinction if you start your speech like hi good morning my name is pramod and today i want to give tell you all about the last one now you need to be differentiating yourself right so impression distinction and the third one is confidence if you want to exude that confidence it's very important for you to know the number one way to start a presentation or a speech so what is the number one way what is the number one way what, what do you think this is what symbol is it question loudly question question that is the way so number one way the number one way to start a presentation it is, is to start with a question does that make sense to you so for example if you're giving a speech let's say i'm just making it up right i'm making it generic because i train a lot of people a lot of high level leaders their specific situation you know is dependent on their specific situation for sure and what they're going through but let's say you're giving a speech on smoking okay how people will say is most people will come to the stage and say smoking is injurious to health smoking and they start giving gyan nobody wants a gyan okay nobody wants this is a book imagine this is a book okay this is a book nobody wants gyan you know what they want actually can you imagine if this is a brain they want bulb on moments they want the bulb inside the brain and the number one way to do that is what i call the connection strategy and when you ask a question instead of saying oh, uh, you can just come and say did you know that 80 percent of the people who smoke die before the age of 58 did you know that 95 percent of smokers catch the habit of smoking before they are 18 and did you know that 82 percent of smokers report that they have tried at least 15 times to quit smoking but they are still unable they are still unable to do that hi my name is Bishal Sarkar in today's speech for the next 25 minutes I'm going to show you a five-step formula on how exactly you can permanently overcome smoking without any hesitation did you know did you see I'm starting with a question mark so this is one way there are many different ways that we talk about but understand that if you have a speech let's say this is your speech okay for 25 minutes you start here and you end here understand the first of all the connection has to happen here the connection without the connection they will not listen to your entire presentation does that make sense to you once you connect then they are enrolled into the entire thing then they will listen to you one thing we often tell people is this you know uh, first of all you connect with people and then you convey what you want to say and that's when they get convinced but if you there is no connection no matter how much you convey they'll not be convinced does that make sense to you connection and how you do that is starting with a question now if you are a leader there are different ways of starting with a question there is a rhetorical question there is the open-ended question there is the shorter question there is the mind-boggling question there is also called a startling statement question and guess what in the next master class i'm going to show you all of that so you can just call the number and exactly talk to one of my team members and you'll come to know exactly how to join me for a 60 minute live interactive zoom session where i'll be interacting with you this is not anything recorded i come live uh, i don't do it very often but you know maybe a few times a year i come and i share the best the practical techniques where i not only teach you but i sometimes i just take one random person from the audience and say hey you come and i exactly coach them live on spot and if you want that absolutely call the number you can see somewhere on the screen right now talk to one of my team members because you're not losing anything by not by by 
you're not losing anything by calling but you're losing a lot by not calling the only way our program will not work if is if you don't join <laughs> so call the number right now we'll be happy to talk to you exactly how you can implement this into your speeches so that you can give rocking presentation and rock it out every single time Vishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection I enjoyed productivity and uh, of course the first uh, role play is excellent and in fact practically I have used that if you remember our our role play I remember I used, it, I used that one and of course I I got six clients in last week and I, I left one and I left one clap it up I, clap it up for Kanar <laughs> amazing and I left one if you remember that in our in the, in the personal call you said that sometimes it's the fear we have to leave someone so i left one which is consuming more time for my uh, regular day so i leave them i leave them and i got six more life is too short for bad clients and cheap wine yeah <laughs> this is the same i don't take wine though but uh, yeah. yeah absolutely so you use the techniques and you got six yes. clients last week yes yep Hi, this is Sarita Pradhan. I'm from Sikkim. Uh, I am basically a headmistress of a government school. Uh, before coming here, uh, I had the problem of not being able to connect with the students uh, since I run the school. And uh, one thing, another thing, uh, I didn't know how to wrap up the entire uh, presentation at the end. So th those are the two pro problems I used to face. I would say that uh, slowly I'm trying to come out of my own shell. I'm being more positive. because of the all the emails feeds them that, that i'm getting every day so every day the first thing i do is like i open my phone i read out the thing uh, you know send the letters sent to me and i share with my sisters and my daughter so i every day i'm being very positive and uh, the yes those are the thing i think uh, you know he has some special quality to see the drawbacks the thing which you want to improve in you and he does it automatically without you knowing it that he is doing it so that is the great thing for me